Hi, this is Patrick from STH. Today, we wanted to present Crushing Cinebench 4.5 with our quad Intel Xeon Platinum 8180 machine. We're gonna score over 11,000, and we're also gonna show why Cinebench is really struggling at this level of performance. So let's quickly move to our test setup. You can see that we have Cinebench R15, and we also have our quad Intel Xeon Platinum 8180 system we're going to do a number of runs here and what you're going to see is that the scores vary greatly our last video we only got about 9,000, and we're seeing scores here you know in the 9700 range we're seeing them in the 11,000 range so there's a pretty large variance between the different runs generally when we see very short benchmarks running on high core count and thread count systems with a high degree of variance, we know that there's something wrong. One of the first places we look is at the benchmark to see if we can get a longer run because things like thread initialization can take some time. As you can see, most of these Cinebench runs are taking a matter of five or six seconds, which is not that long. One of the other impacts of having short benchmarks is that the timing functions can sometimes cause rounding errors. With this level of variance, we can say that Cinebench is essentially a broken benchmark at the high core count range. However, it still works perfectly well for the intended workstation processors. The next run we have is the world record run. Although we were at 11,400 on that last one, this one we pushed to 11,584, which we think is a new world record for a four socket system. Now, what we're seeing here is there's a very large variance of 20%. We double checked in terms of core count. Also, this was something that folks asked us for in our last video was to see the Windows Task Manager. You can see the threads spin up and the run completes. Still a high level of variance, so we know that Cinebench is struggling as a benchmark. Thank you for watching. Take some time to visit the STH main site, check out other videos we have, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.